John the Baptist, we have went through the part about him jumping in his mommy's womb and all this because the Holy Ghost was the presence of Jesus come. And John the Baptist was sent to baptize people in water. Now Jesus has gotten in trouble because he read to them after that he got baptized in water and then baptized in the Holy Ghost and then the Holy Ghost come upon him and he was baptized in that and he went into the temple and then now they've got to hate him. It was because him and the Holy Ghost had gotten agreement, wasn't it? Apparently. That makes sense to you? If you can get your spirit man and your mind in agreement, bit Brandy, your body will follow along just like a little pup on a leash. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and the human spirit, soul, and body. Genesis 1:26. Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Look right here. This will about make you cry if you got any crying in you. Verse 29. Now let's start a little earlier. Let's start in verse 26. John answered them, there's a question to John about who he was and what his business was. And John answered them saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom you know not. He it is who, who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoe latchets I'm not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Bethabara, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. Everybody say the next day. The next day John seeing Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Now this is not the clincher to it. He had already seen him before, Kenneth, but he hadn't. This was the first time that he had made reference to it apparently. He looked out there and he seen him and he said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. This is he. Now he's talking. There's two guys with him here. Two of John's followers is with him. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me. For he was before me. And I knew him not. Now, now I want you to think on this. Brand to think about this. John said, I knew him not. I didn't know him. I mean, he went in there when he, both of them was in their mommy's belly and he leaped in his womb but he had never seen him he didn't know him he said I knew him not but that he should be manifest to Israel therefore am I come to baptize with water and John by record saying I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and hit a boat upon him he'd already seen that He's seen him be baptized in the Holy Ghost. God showed him a vision of it. And John's a covering this. But now look here. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me. And I knew him not. He's saying it again, see. He said it up here in verse 31, and I knew him not. Verse 33, and I knew him not. But he that sent me, who sent him? God sent him, didn't he? And I knew him not, but when God sent me, when the, he told me about this, he sent me to baptize with water. The same one that sent me, he said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. Now listen, if you can't get a little bit excited about that, you might not never get into the place you need to be in. Amen? He said, I don't know. I didn't know who this guy was. I didn't know him, Kenneth. But the man that told me to baptize with water and to do what I'm doing, he told me something else too. He told me that that guy that I would see and when I seen him moving around and walking out of here, I'd know him because he had let me in on a little secret. That he had shown me the Holy Spirit in the form of the gentleness of a dove resting and staying on him all the time. And when you see that, you'll know that that's the one that's come to take away the sin of the world. John had never seen him. But up here in the first verse where he was talking about it in verse 29, 
John had never talked to him according to the scripture, Kenneth. But he looked out there. He'd already seen the, the Holy Spirit hovering over him and staying with him because that's what God told him. He said, that's the way you'll know who he is. And he looked out there one day and he told them two that he was with. He said, behold, or look, it's the Lamb of God that come to take away the sins of the world. That makes cold chills run on me. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Being born again is great, but if you don't get filled with the Holy Ghost, you've missed out on the biggest part of the enjoyment here on this earth of salvation. Amen. He said, And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. And again the next day after John stood and two of his disciples and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him and they followed Jesus. They just left John went to Jesus. I don't blame them, do you? Huh? 